Alright hey guys, welcome back. Well, 27 degrees outside. Yeah, figured I'd rather be out here than in front of the gun safe today. Uh, this is going to be a re-review of the Elk Valley Brewing Coffee Nemesis. Uh, it's an Imperial Stout, 9%. Um, kind of mixed reviews. Uh, when, I, when I had it, I bought a four pack and I distributed them. Uh, I thought it was weak on the coffee. Uh, Ebomi reviewed it and thought it was heavy on the cheaper version of coffee, like a you know like a Folger, so he said. Um, I got this from a friend. I'm not going to say his name on here. Uh, he wasn't a fan of it. Uh, tossed me a couple, and I thought I'd do a re-review. to get freezing rain tomorrow so that should be fun now it's it smells fucking awesome coffee and the damn good stout uh, so far all the nemesis versions that I've had um, their whiskey barrel aged with coconut was good uh, then we reviewed uh, their mole uh, version uh, that review should be coming up pretty soon um, or it might already be up by the time you watch this I don't know how I'm gonna be uploading these I have so many different kind of videos to put up all right let's get into it I'm still going to have to stick with the coffee's not as, as intense as I'd really like it to be. I'm mainly getting, getting like the like a dryness and a bitterness and, and uh, maybe a mild maybe below, below mild even uh, on the coffee. Um, I will say you know you not you will not get the the nine percent. It to me it just tastes like a good above medium thickness, good creamy, slightly sweet imperial stout with maybe just a hint of of course it does say slight coffee flavor. I'm not really getting caramel. I would say I'm getting a little bit of chocolate like you do with most uh, most Imperial Stouts. I mean, I like it. I wouldn't discredit the whole beer just because it doesn't have as much uh, uh, coffee that I'd like to see in it. but. So, I went and took some measurements and looked at the new place. Um, it should be about the same width in internal dimensions. I think the garage door might be a little bit narrower. So, the car may only go in uh, during bad weather. We'll just fold the mirrors in. Mm -hmm. yeah, shut the fuck up. One second. Um, but the walls are sheetrocked and, and painted white, so that's good. Uh, the door to get to the garage is, you know, actually in the house. Here, I actually have to go out of the front door or front porch and front door and so forth and come in here. Uh, at least there, I can. There's a door that goes into the living room. Um, there is no shop lights. I have this shop light here which I actually have angled backwards because if not it would look more like this and I look kind of whited out and then I have a four foot shop light over there uh, what I'm probably going to do because it actually has a, a roof this this just has rafters um, 
I'm either going to get a LED, I'm, I know I'm strictly going to go with LED, I'm going to get a LED shop light, a single one that's going to go in the middle, or I might get one and mount it on the wall, or I might do both, depending on how much they cost. Um, I'm wanting something light, if I want to take down and move it, I can do it. Uh, if I want to make little little stands for it or lean it up against something, I can do that. If it falls over, the glass won't shatter. Uh, may even get some LED uh, 100 or 120 watt floodlights um, and and rig something up that way. Uh, just like, I like to have a little bit more front facing light because to me it seems like all I get is shadows. Uh, like you can see here, if I move up, you can. All I'm getting is shadows with this down facing light. I want something that's directed more towards me. The new place I'll have my table off by a window so I can actually look out the window. Um, our bedroom will be smaller, bigger closet, uh, so that'll help. Um, we got so much fucking junk and garbage to get rid of when we move. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the gun safe yet. We'll figure that out. I know it'll be in the bedroom. I just don't know if I want to try to put it inside the closet uh, or on my side of the bed. Um, I don't know. We have some end tables or some side bedside tables that are fucking huge. I mean, they're like square, like two and a half foot square. I want to get some smaller. I've, I've hated those things and we've had them for shit. Since we've been married, you know, coming up on 15 years, so. Well, I mean, I'm going to enjoy the, uh, the other one a little more than I am this one. I'm trying to Kind of just get through it because I do have another beer to review. It's it's not a bad beer. Um, to me, to go with what they say is a slight coffee flavor. Of course, I mean I I don't know. I wouldn't want to put slight coffee in something called coffee nemesis. Um, I mean, some people might not like coffee. I like, like I said, I, I drink an Americano, which is a coffee with uh, two shots of espresso. Sometimes I get four. It uh, depends on where I go uh, on if I do that or not. Sometimes it leaves a bunch of grinds in the bottom, and they get like a gelatinous feel to them, and you, you end up not drinking this much coffee because it's just it's too much. And unfortunately, the uh, the heater will be in the garage at the new place, but it's actually enclosed and has a, a door, so it might not be as loud. Uh, off, uh, if you're looking at the house, off to the side, there's a. I'm, this morning I saw that a uh, lady might have been in her 60s uh, going after a car on the right side. I don't, I know, I don't know. I didn't see them. Uh, looking right out the front door, there's a. Sheriff that lives there, so that might might be pretty interesting. Got some ideas for a new tattoo or a couple of new tattoos. I'm definitely not getting anything on my back or chest or legs. That's just you know. If, if people wanted to get tattoos to cover them up, there's no fucking sense in it. Alright, that's like me saying, you know, I got a 13 inch penis. Uh, you'd be goddamn right. On Snapchat, I'd be, I'd be putting on my story, just, I'd be like, fucking knocking shit off with the table with it. Uh, I mean, if you got it, fucking show it. Uh, now, if you want to have a little heart and whatever on your on your ankle, that's that's fine. You know, you might, you might be a little bitch one day and decide to wear your fucking Crocs or flip flops or some shit. Do what you want to do, but that's just not my style in general.
guys are going to get. There's cussing in this video, so you might want to, you know, if you get a little sensitive or something, you might want to get to a cold spot. Little snowflakes melt. I remember that. Don't want to hurt no feelings here. Now, I'm enjoying this more than I was a year and a half, two years ago, whatever it was, when I uh, originally reviewed it. And I honestly haven't bought it since then. Um, I've gone through my, my fair share of their, their regular Nemesis. Uh, other stuff that Elk Valley has is damn good. Uh, John, if you're watching, I need, a, <clears throat> I need to get a glass that has Elk Valley. Uh, something a little, you know, stemware, a little tulip style or something. I think I've only seen one or two different glasses I had Elk Valley on it. It was up at Mustang. I don't know. Maybe not this coming weekend because of the terrible ice storm. But maybe next week and I'll, I'll run out to Mustang and see if they have any Elk Valley glassware. As it does warm up, you know, the, the coffee bitterness and kind of back end is uh, coming out a little bit more. I do like it though, and it, I mean, that is a sticky looking beer. really liking it a lot more now than originally. Uh, I think originally I was a little rushed. Uh, now I kind of like to enjoy the beers a little bit more. Now if I was to originally review this and not, this not being a re-review, I think I would have probably given it pretty close to a 9. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. Uh, numerical rating 93, uh, pretty close to 94. Uh, but coffee, got to coffee forward. Like I said, 13 inch penis. If you're gonna do it, do it good. Uh, I mean, I don't want this to say Oak Valley Brewing 13 inch penis. I don't, I don't want to taste, you know, like fucking beef franks or something like that. Uh, so there you go, Coffee Nemesis Imperial Stout, Oak Valley Brewing Company. And uh, they're getting out of Mustang Brewery, uh, and they're going to be making beers in uh, Lead Slinger's Distillery. So, if you got a distillery making whiskey, and then you got a beer company moving in making beer, you can get the idea what he's going to be making a lot of. If you're retarded, uh, whiskey barrel aged beers. He could piss in a fucking barrel and I'd, I'd fucking review it. Just saying. Alright guys, here we go. I'm going to stick with a 9 on this. But this gigantic word saying coffee, I'd, I want more coffee. You know, I, I want to be jittering by the time I finish this fucking beer. Alright guys, move on to the next one. Have a great day. We'll be seeing you. OFY. Alright, be seeing you.